hey guys welcome back to my channel i know it's been a while but i'm back with another video today we'll be doing fried catfish and loaded baked potatoes so let's get started the first thing i'm going to do is just wash my potatoes off and then i'm going to pat them dry so now that they're dry i'm just going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil on them and rub them down and then i'll be poking holes in them and placing them in the oven at 400 degrees for about 45 minutes to an hour. While my potatoes are in the oven, I'm just gonna get ready to um, make my fish. I'm using Louisiana fish fry. That's my favorite fish fry to use. I add just a little bit of seasoning to it. It's not that it's lacking much, but it does it's not to my liking so i just add a little bit of garlic salt black pepper and cayenne pepper that's all you need literally you don't need nothing else otherwise you'll just have over seasoned fish so now i'm just going to make sure that i mix all of my seasonings up together and then i'm taking a clean piece of fish and patting it dry the key to having a good nice um skin or batter on your fish is to pat it dry all of that excess moisture is just going to give you a super hard crunchy batter on the fish and you don't want that fish doesn't need all of that to get to be crunchy so make sure you get all of the moisture out of your fish and trust me the cornmeal is definitely going to stick you don't have to worry about that and then what I like to do is cook it for about 10 to 12 minutes. I'm just going to show you that process again. I'm patting the fish dry. And then I'm just going to shake it up in my bowl. And then I'm going to add it to the grease. And I typically don't do one piece at a time. But I'm just doing this for the sake of the video so that you can see in on my method. I'm telling you, if you don't pat your fish dry, you definitely got to start doing it unless you like a, a thick hard crust on your fish but anyways so while the fish is cooking my potatoes are done i'm just going to um, open them up put a little butter salt pepper and shredded cheese in them and then once i have that on the potatoes i'm going to place them back into the oven for just a few minutes just long enough for the cheese to melt Now that the potatoes are out of the oven, I'm just going to take some bacon bits. I love bacon bits. I prefer real bacon, but um, these are not that bad. I like the texture that they give the potatoes and they have a, a decent flavor. So now I'm gonna add some sour cream and just some dried chives. And that is my loaded baked potato. Uh, my fish is done and here you are. So let me know down in the comment section if you like this recipe tell me how you cook your fish and what you put on your potato and yeah if you have any suggestions on another video make sure you leave it down in the comment section please give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe i'll see you in my next one bye